that will be arriving here probably in about 20, 25 minutes. Um, they'll be out the west end doors just there from baggage claim. It's about a two to two and a half hour drive up to Aspen. It does not stop along the way. It goes directly to the airport uh, there in Aspen and that is contractual. So we're on our way to Aspen and we just landed, but not in Aspen. Not in Aspen. We're in Grand Junction. It's really hard to get in and out of Aspen. We've had trouble last time. We got snowed in, so this time there's too much wind and they had to take us to Grand Junction, Colorado, and we're gonna have a bus from here to Aspen, which is two hours. Yeah. You know what? At least we get to see a little bit more of Aspen or like of Colorado than we would have ever. made it to our hotel room at the limelight Aspen. Finally, it's so nice. It's warm and cozy, big spacious room. That's Huge really room. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. I'll just stay in here. If there's a fireplace, it'd be over. And the cool thing is like, we really like staying in Aspen town village yeah. because there's so much to do here versus like, you can go to Snowmass, which is really good for snowboarding and skiing, but it's like kind of far. It's like 30 minutes. We're going to go over there tomorrow. So yeah. if you're like coming to definitely like, Ski and snowboard, snow mass is probably perfect. If you're coming to op race. We op race, I mean we snowboard too, but I'm all about that op race life. I'm so excited because this is our first time staying in this hotel. We kind of have like tried a lot of really great ones here, but it's fun because you get to like experience a little bit of different stuff and everything is walkable, which is super fun, minus those mountains, but there's like four different ones, right? Yeah. That's a lot to like be able to snowboard and ski. Yeah, you have Aspen Mountain, yeah. Aspen Highlands Mountain, Snowmass, and... Is there one with a cute name like Butter, Butter Buttermilk? Milk. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I remembered it. So this is our third year, right? I yeah. thought it was fourth. Third year coming to Aspen, around the same time, kind of like Valentine's-ish. And the first time we came, we were starving. And they told us this place to go, and we fell in love, so now it's become our tradition. But here's the thing, today we didn't expect to have that extra like two and a half hour delay. So like talk about starving, like we're starving. But every time we come here, we don't care about anything else until no. we get to this restaurant called the White House. Yes, it's our first stop always for a cocktail and some food. Car. Don't get hit by a car. <laughs> this is how focused we are. We would get hit by a car inadvertently because we're that hungry. Yeah. No, they have the best sandwiches. It's a really <laughs> cute little White House. I'm gonna and... try not to die in the snow right now. We usually sit outside, but this it's time. It's also usually sunny. Yeah. Because I don't know if you guys remember this from like our Greece trip, but Ryan literally usually lays out full like Excel documents for our trip. But now we're really migrated into Trello. But don't worry, we have a checklist. Lunch at White House. Check. <laughs> and then I have ideas over on my phone of what I want us to do. And then Katie is going to update our itinerary over here. And that's just. I like to like, just roll with the punches and see what happens. Brian likes to have a plan, so we usually have a plan and then we kind of like combine it and see what happens. It works. Alright, these meatballs are the best. 
so excited because they're chickens. So I can eat them. Well, that's gone. What did you do? I destroyed it. It was so good. I literally am debating about getting a second order. Someone, uh, you go to the say, and it's just a This morning got up late, we're just like lounging around. And then we went to get the car to go to Snowmass, which is a mountain that's like 30 minutes from here. But apparently <laughs> it only goes like three we times. We sleep a little bit. The last time was 9.30. There was no way that was happening. Like we didn't even get up till nine, so. We're going right now. Yeah, we're just gonna get an Uber and take ourselves. And one of us is dressed to snowboard, the other. I'm dressed to opera, but I am going to snowboard. I just didn't want to have to do the whole deal because I'm literally just snowboarding to go to lunch at this like amazing cabin that's on the mountain. They said it's short and easy. So like, why put on all the gear if I don't need it? Is that over? So we have a ton of snow gear at home because we do go snowboarding local mountains and stuff, but we just didn't want to have to carry it and travel with all of it. So we are renting the gear at Aspen Snowmass. So we're gonna get like our boards and boots. And yes, I'm getting gear, even though I'm just gonna do like a baby bit because I hurt my butt so bad last year, but I still need stuff to get up the mountain. When was the last time you boarded? It's been a minute. Last time we were here probably. Oh my gosh. My boots, we're like twinning fully. That's cute. My board blends in with the wall here. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh. Look at this get up the, the jeans. This is the California jacket. Style. <laughs> All right, so we're on the mountain getting ready to head up, and I see there are normal chairs, but then there's also like gondolas. And if I can just get on a gondola, I'd be the happiest girl in the world. She doesn't like getting off the chair. I hate getting off. I do fine every time. But seriously, every single time, I get so nervous. I survive. I know. We're gonna do it. Don't try and make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. Katie's doing so good. She hasn't snowboarded in like a year, and she got hurt last time. So this time, she's right back on it. She's just killing it. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Oh, was that? It was good. You know, it just takes me a few times to start getting like used to what to do with my feet and how to like be in my legs and get comfortable. But then last time I got so comfortable and then I got Got off the chairlift. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Flawless. I did it, you guys. You did it. It went so slow. It was awesome. <laughs>
So we're making our way to the Lynn's Brick Cabin. It's right in the middle of Snowmass Mountain. We're supposed to have really, really good food and uh, it's just a cool view. Like it's a beautiful day out. So I think we're gonna have a really nice view and it's coming. What happened? Oh, my mouth is tough. <laughs> and I was flat. And I figured I'd get here faster running. Good job. So we got a butternut squash soup. We got a cheese board to start. It looks really, really nice. All right, I went for it. This burger is supposed to be one of the best in Colorado, and it looks that way. Katie, a little, on the little lighter healthier. side. It looks so good. Don't worry, I ate my fair share of cheese though. We made a cocktail. We did. You guys know I love making cocktails and like coming up with new things. So we like saw something on the menu and we're like, that sounds great, except can we change everything about it? <laughs> and we did. And then Ryan came up with the name. So essentially it's gin with some muddled blackberries, lemon, and boo. And most of the drinks here are named after runs on the mountain. So we combined two runs. And it's called the Racer's Javelin. Because it has the gin and the champagne, so it kind of like hits fast. you in the face pretty fast. Like if you're racing down a hill, or if you're javelin, and someone you get hit with the javelin. <laughs> you know, you get it. We found free s'mores. <laughs> Guys, there's a s'mores cart. Post mountain, we're like, oh, should we? I don't know. And I probably wouldn't have done it if we were paying for it, just because I'm like, I don't need it. But it's free, so here we are. Look how cute it is. Oh. I want one of these for our house. A s'mores cart? Not a s'mores, like just like the cart. <laughs> You're sick and I'm back and I'll reload these. So, okay. classic please. Classic, okay. S'mores is easily my top favorite five dessert. Ryan loves them. If he throws some peanut butter in it, he's in heaven. <laughs> So good, but I literally can only take like two bites because it is a sugar bomb, like in your face sugar. Have you had, you haven't had yours yet. Ryan's finishing it. his. Um, this is a pretty awesome day. I had so much fun. Oh, yeah. Like this is what Aspen's all about. Like getting cozy, hitting the mountain a little bit, drink. This is why S'mores. I love it so much. S'mores. It's just like, there's not like a ton, there's a lot to do, but not like you have to be like crazy active all over the place. Like it's just like fun. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, one more bite. That's it. Yeah. Don't let him see the rest of this. No. Bye. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> it's snowing. I'm so happy. So exciting. It's really nice out. Uh, we like literally woke up to Winter Wonderland snowstorm. And it's nice because it's not like free. I mean, it's cold. It's cold. But it's not freezing. I mean, Katie's just in a sweater and, and jeans. jeans. Like, you can bad. enjoy it. So it's gonna lay down some awesome fresh snow on the mountain and we're going up to cloud nine another on the mountain place to have lunch and this place gets crazy opera ski yeah like major party dancing on tables you're gonna dance on the table you think <laughs> I don't know but I'm not wearing jeans on the mountain today 
I'm gonna wear our real pants. Good idea. So we're getting ready to work out, but I really wanted to get my coffee first, and we came out, and it is so sunny all of a sudden. I know. Like it was just what? dark. It's still snowing. Like it's still there's still snow falling, but it's crazy because now the sun is so bright. I mean, this is the perfect way to get snow. It's still cold enough to snow. Yeah. But it's sunny on you. Yeah, it is. It's really nice weather. We've gotten so lucky. Every time we come here, it's like enough to have it be like magical Aspen land without being like horrible blizzard. That's so good. It is supposed to get like one degrees tonight though. Yeah, you guys. We're from California, as you know. Like one degree is not a thing. I don't even know what that feels like. I'd rather not. So we're taking a little stroll downtown. The limelight, which is the hotel we're staying at, is so awesome because it's like right in the heart of town and it's easy to walk everywhere. And it's only a couple blocks from my favorite coffee spot. Yeah. The thing. <laughs> they only have one size and while it's probably an appropriate amount on a normal occasion we have a big day planned and I want it a little bit larger this might be like a slightly excessive but I'm gonna give it my best shot this is my ultimate double fisting <laughs> okay day two snowboarding I was gonna try to find new snowboarding pants to wear but we're back in jeans and you know what I was totally fine I my long johns underneath and I'm just gonna go do a couple runs, not gonna be anything crazy, but it's still snowing today. Hopefully it's not too windy to get up on the thing because I don't know how I feel about that. It might make me a little nervous. I'll just let Ryan go then. I don't Hurt mind. Me. He's like the pro. I just like to, you know, go a couple times down the mountain. Yeah. Little snowflake, fall on down, but not actually fall. You ready to operate first? I'm ready. Operate all day. You guys, it's seriously so pretty and it's snowing again right now. I love it. I don't even like the cold, but I love it here so much. <laughs> All right, so they accidentally sent my board to a different mountain, so I had to get a new one. I went and let Ryan like just go ride the mountain for a while while I got my new one. And now I'm waiting for him so we can head up. And I just have to say, normally I am like super adventurous. I go like full thing on the mountain with him. But this trip, like recovering from a little injury and just working and doing other stuff, like. I'm just letting him do his thing and I'm gonna like go along for the ride and it's just working. But I'm not always like a like, oh, I just wanna opera. Like, I will like get on the mountain and work for it because I do wanna get better so I can do more with him and like be better at snowboarding, but it takes time. And the reason I don't have my snowboarding pants is because they are legit too big. I bought them like when I was kind of first starting my weight loss journey, but like I'd lost some weight, but wasn't like the size I am now. And so I went to pack them and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember from last year, they're just so way too big. So I was gonna buy new ones here, but they're so expensive. And I'm like, is it really worth it? Do I need it? I'm warm enough. I have on long johns, some jeans, and I can move. So like, why not just do it? All right. Katie made it. I made it. You guys, I've successfully gotten off the chair every single time. I was gonna make it seem like it was more by saying every single, it's only been three, but I did it. It's <laughs> great. So we're at cloud nine, <laughs> we're gonna go inside and we're gonna eat and then it usually turns into a party. We'll like see. Like crazy. We'll see. Yeah, you guys have to check this out though, it's so cool. Extremely wet and not with water or snow, but for champagne. Here's the thing. I told Ryan, champagne showers go against everything I believe in. I just want you to drink the Kitty was like, Can I catch you? Can I catch you? No, you can't. 
No, you can. I just got so. That was awesome. Super fun. That was awesome. Do Cloud9 if you come to Aspen. Oh my god, it's so much fun. You Even if you just get sprayed with shit. You meet awesome people, you get to dance, like. Katie's taking the snow cat. She doesn't want to sell more down. Okay, I'm gonna get on. Good cat check. Uh -huh. But I'm Jana, by the way. <laughs> later here's Katie I guess you didn't really realize the snow cat is very very slow <laughs> there she is the snow cat princess Whoa. A decade later I come down backwards that took so long it's six degrees out this morning it's so cold yeah you see have you been in this cold weather? Yeah, I've been in below zero. You but don't even have a beanie on. I know, but it's still really it's freezing. It's I don't think I've been in this cold. It's actually very chilly, but luckily there's no wind. It's like kind of calm. Yeah. We woke up early, no champagne hangovers, which is nice. It was, apparently, great. yeah, I mean, they, maybe the guy was right. Maybe it was a two on a scale of zero to 10. At the time, it felt like a 25, <laughs> but I feel great now. We drink lots of water and we're waking up early to get some massages this morning. Like every trip, I'm pretty sure. We do it at home regularly too. Yeah. But anytime we travel, we try to get some type of massage. You snowboarded way more, so you probably have sore muscles. Sore I just hop out. You don't even remember you have. True. I just hop out of sweat guided, but I'm still sore. So it's going to feel really good. We're just going to a cool local place here. Um, I want to show them your shirt though. Check this out. Yeah. Speaking of cold weather, give a flake. Aspen snow mask. So we got these in our room and we're like, those are cool. That's so funny. But they're actually really cool. Yeah, it's cool. So they, uh, Aspen does a, this kind of campaign to bring awareness to, um, you know, really trying to protect all of our winters and all the snow. And like, there hasn't been a lot of snow the last couple of years. I mean, there's been snow for sure, but this year is a lot more snow, which is great. Yeah. But um, it's really just focused on, you know, environmental protection and, you know, preventing climate change, which is a big deal. And helping make people more aware of it so that we can actually come and enjoy the snow and snowboard and play in it. So when we're complaining about the cold, it's actually a very good thing. But it's so cute and it's like obviously like a fun shirt and things that people can, can get behind and enjoy. You get it? Give a flake. Get it? Give a flake. Like you should give a flake. Yeah. Here. So go check out the website. Like they have a whole website on it and stuff you can do to like send in letters and, you know, yeah. just help promote the message, which is cool. So. We'll put a link down below for you guys too so you can check it out. Now it's time to get massages. Yeah, massage time. Look at him. He's so cute. The sign says attention paragliders will be landing. Will they? Like right now? Why? That seems unlikely to me. I like their wall versus this wall aesthetically. Yeah. Really doing it. Well, that's it. Yeah, last day. So we just finished our massages and now we're getting oxygen. This is so cool. Could have used this on like day one in Aspen. <laughs> Literally, I've never had oxygen before, but you guys, that was the best massage I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I'm such a massage snob and so picky, especially because I'm so in tune with my body and all the muscles. And so having someone who actually gets that and can like get into every tiny little area and like understand how everything's connected, it was the best ever. I'm gonna have to start coming to Aspen regularly for massages. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, so we're heading home from Aspen right now, and we have so much fun making the travel vlogs for you guys and showing you all the fun stuff we're doing, but I want to know what you want to see more of, if you want to see like what we're eating and our routine, so comment below and let me know. And I have the most fun vlog planned for Vlog Thursdays next week. It's something I've never done before. It's kind of going to be a little bit crazy and weird, but you guys have to be following on Instagram so that you can help me make this video. Like, you're going to be a part of it. So, at Lifts Up Fitness, I'll put the link below too. Make sure you're following. I'll see you guys next week.